Yo, Better Best Dog here, Fit Bully TV. Special episode here for you guys. We're here at Josie Ranch Pet Hospital. As you know, about a couple months ago, we made a light announcement about the Frenchies that we had in the Fit Bully camp. Asha and Macho having their first breeding. Well, today is the big day. Her numbers dropped, her temperature dropped drastically. We texted the vet, and unfortunately, it is Sunday, meaning anytime you guys have to do an emergency vet visit on a day that they are not open, the price basically almost doubles. So we uh, we have to potentially drop almost three bands on a Sunday just to do the C-section for this dog or for this pup or for this uh, Frenchie. So stay tuned, people. Asha, Macho Pups, about to be underway. I'll make sure I try to film all the stuff that we can in here. Travel, do some more elaboration, and you guys will get to see our process as we develop the Frenchies ourselves. Stay tuned, people. Take care of your dogs. Asha, Macho, Frenchie Puppies are on the way. So uh, here we are. Here we are. We've got a few pups. We've got one at risk. If you stay tuned longer, you know, later in the video, the doctor will break down an inverted chest. And you know, I called my doctor, <laughs> Dr. Ruben. I said, well, I walked in. Jamarcus told me what was going on. I said, let me call the doctor real quick. Uh, something that he said is literally like one in a million chances or cases to say the least. And the irony is I've actually seen videos where a dog had inverted organs and the pup and they'll basically put them in and sew them back up and the pup room is kind of good. So we've got how many boys and girls? Four or three? Or three girls, one boy. Three girls, one boy. Uh, primary focus for these particular pups people is to ensure that they just go to good homes. I gotta be honest with you. We didn't want to do the Frenchie thing, crossed into it too soon. Uh, and if I'm being completely honest, it was because my friend gave me one. <laughs> He, he literally was like, yo, he gave you one? Yeah, it was like a co on where I didn't have to pay for nothing. He was just like, take care of it. Uh, okay. And then I gave it to somebody else. And then me and a guy named Chris, we bought one and we gave it to her. And, you know, we learned very quickly that the Frenchie, when you, you know, you stay true to yourself. A guy who does shepherds probably going to always have a shepherd. Like, a guy who's an old school pit dude going to always have that pit bull. You know, and even the Frenchie people. They're always going to have French Bulldogs. My buddy Chris Moore, shout out to him. We'll see him soon in the very near future. He's a Bulldog guy. That's his dog. Doesn't mean he doesn't respect and love a solid pit, a solid shepherd, a, so many dogs. Bull Terriers. He's got an affinity like Ruben for a lot of dogs. But that guy's got 30 Bulldogs at his house. So what do you think he's interested in? Bulldogs. So. I wasn't there to ask a bunch of questions. Jamarcus did a good job of asking questions. Later in the episode, again, they'll break down inverted chest. A couple things that you're at risk of. Either it works itself out or the chest continues to cave in foundationally and the dog has to be euthanized. <sighs> Reason why you don't put it in the bag <laughs> and just, you know, trash it per se, even if it is on its way out. Uh, I guess that's inhumane. Stuff does happen though, we gotta be honest. And if it dies, you're like, what do we take it? But, at any who, doctor gave them an option list, I, 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 I heard. There's a couple colors you gotta be mindful of uh, as well. When you have pups, and I'll go through that in another time. Point is, mom's healthy, mom's happy. We have access to the stud, the studs up the, up the street, so everything we did was literally in-house, and, and, and we're at peace. So, Asha had her litter. I'll show you a couple of the pups real quick. Uh, you've got uh, Whitey. Look at these things, these little rats. I do not miss Frenchies, I'll tell you this, but I don't know what y'all call this. Y'all big in that color world. He said, look at that color dog. Poor Joker don't even got no face on him. Look at him, there's no face. Bless his heart. <laughs> and then we have a, uh, this is the one I think, oh, I can feel this. Is this the one? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is the one you can feel. Yeah, I can feel what she's felt. I haven't touched any of the pups yet, people. But uh, as Jamarcus knows, I do a lot of harassing as soon as I get mine, especially back to the crib. And you want to feel all over and see. <clears throat> I'm just testing stuff out. Pretty dog. Looks like it's got a little chocolate or something to it. Unfortunately, um, might not make it, but so far so good. He's moving and pooping. Pooping right in my hand. He ain't gonna do it on me, buddy. Oh man, this looks like Mr. Wick. Uh, Ruben has a, a Frenchie named Mr. Wick, and he's a good looking boy. Mr. Wick, boy, he rubs on himself too. <laughs> and this one here. It's only male. Oh, this only boy. Mm -hmm. oh, wow, he's a good looking boy. You know, it's funny because the first thing we always notice is a pretty chick 
and a, and a pretty dog. Uh, this is the girl too, I presume. Uh, that joker looked pretty too. So, this is what we're working with. If you're on our list, uh, we will reach out tomorrow. Start touching base with those people who are interested. Again, I'm very interested in pet homes. We're not going to do that thing where we try to go and breed. I actually hate that we have so many girls, if I'm being honest, because <laughs> that gets people excited. That gets them, that gets them worked up. They go, oh, oh, I know what to do, buddy. Well, let me, let me do it with you. I'll, I'll, I'll do whatever you say. Just, just let me do it. <laughs> we'll figure that part out at the end of the day because, you know, a sell is a sell. Uh, we're going to teach you as much as we can. I told Ruben I'm going to send him a shot list so we can go live on YouTube. Matter of fact, the only place Ruben and I are going to go live and talk about pups and French Bulldogs and things to be mindful of, 72 hours, cleft palates, brachiocephalic, even protein markers that they can't identify with various issues just yet. He knows way more than I do. But even when I hear him say things now, I laughed earlier on the phone because, you know, he uses terms that I read about every day. He said, call it skins, he says the integumentary system. Didn't take me. I'm laughing because I go. I remember the first time he said a lot of things, and I was like, "Yo, what is this dude talking about? This is like talking to a book, <laughs> a high-level science book." But that's how his brain functions. <laughs> so then he didn't tell you about a picture. Even. He tell you about the APS and all the megapixels and the reds and the blues. Did you see the magentas? You go. I didn't look at it that hard, <laughs> but I get your plight. <laughs> you got to just move on. So. Shout out to Ruben. Thank everyone, Barbie and, and definitely to Marcus for seeing this through. Our lives have gotten pretty too hectic. And um, Lauren, I tell you, I don't know how to manage my own time right now. I gotta be honest with you. You can see Jamarcus laughing weird. Weird. There's a lot of things happening and I can't keep up. And that's odd. I can keep up and most of the time, but I can't even tell. I don't know what's coming next. <laughs> no clue. For now, keep taking care of your dogs. The first 48, not 72 hours, are critical. You want to make sure the dog has plenty of colostrum. The mom's healthy. Pups are probably going to be happy, happy and stay, you know, right where they need to be in terms of growth is concerned. <sighs> More coming, man. That's all I can say for now. We don't know what happens next. <laughs> None of us really do. Dark one. That's how much of puppies be good. I'm gonna put this one up because I think there's another one, but it's for you. Oh my god. Every like, like color as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A lot of different colors. Mm -hmm. One boy, three girls. All different colors. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this one has a ha has little eyebrows and it's just adorable. This one has a voice on it. That's really nice. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, None of them have any issues so far? No. Okay. That's great. Uh, Dr. Barnett will uh, li listen to their hearts uh, once she, you know, get gets out from surgery. But Absolutely. she checked them all, 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 all off the clefts already. So. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Perfect. She's getting all the, the juice out, and we're already pooping. No wonder she was ready. Look how big they are. Yeah, these aren't small either. No. They're actually a lot. They're, they're a lot bigger big. than. Yeah, they're pretty big for. Oh, that's what I said. I was like, for, the, for these little Frenchies. Well, and like even yesterday, she was not acting like anything was a thing. And to see her today, and she's like panting and doing that, like she is definitely. Yeah. Yesterday, she was all cool and collected. Today, you could tell she was. Yes, I know. Okay, you sound better. Yeah, you're just pooping. Just pooping. Okay.
There you go. A little bit better. There we go. <laughs> They're just all like really juicy, have mm -hmm. lots of yeah, fluid in them, but look at that one. Yeah, this is the closest one we'll find out like I our know. Old, huh? They're gray. And but I think it, yeah, I don't. They're gray, yeah. I think so. I think so. Have, uh, Look at the uh, white on the I know. Room. I know. I saw that. I that. <laughs> his dad looks like. <laughs> I, mean, I, took a a video. I just took a video of oh, him the other day. Oh, really? Yeah. So that's dad. That's Nacho. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, why yeah, that's yeah, what yeah, I'm yeah. saying. Like, he probably looks just like. Just like yeah. Because yeah, like this. That. Yeah. Is that a she or he? Hold on. Which this is the... a girl. Okay, so this one is the boy, right? Yeah, the boy yeah. is the one that looks like mommy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so that's the one that probably looks closest to dad. Look at her little fat belly. Isn't that funny that. The the dad is a is a female and the boy. The boy looks like, like the, the mom. Opposite, the opposite. Right? The girl yeah. looks like the dad. Yeah. Yeah. And they did threw another rainbow. Like, let's do another one. Now this white one, that's very interesting. I don't think I've ever seen that. That's Can you check on that? Like the list? Yeah. I know. That's yeah. rare. That is very rare. Which one? Oh, okay, this it's one? moving. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, the one I was yeah, looking at. The last one. The Asha looking one. Good too. Oh, we're, well, she's wiggling like Asha was, or he is, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, no, that's a nice little variety of colors here. Mm -hmm. All grumpy, grumpy. I was checking for clusters when they were coming out, so they okay. don't have any. Perfect. Kenzie, mm -hmm. this one's still bleeding. Let's tie it oh off again. Gosh. Is it not? I literally had about just a second ago. Is that good? Is that from the umbilical cord? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, so we're just going to tie it again. Gotcha. I can't look at that. Oh, right there, there's a little. So weird, I just had him out. It was like that one yesterday. Yeah. So we were showing him off to the camera. Okay. Do you want me to cut more of the umbilicus? That'd be fine. Don't fall off. You're dirty now. You have a towel? I need to wipe down. I saw this one almost freaked out. I was like, that's like Arnold, but he's more macho. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're just not going to track it everywhere. <laughs> know what is. She's this is a little whopper right here. <laughs> I have bulbed them all out, but they're pretty juicy. Mm -hmm. Look at that big tail. <laughs> you got a nice set of healthy puppies here. is that they gain weight every day. The only the exception to that is the first 24 hours they can lose a little bit of weight, but after that they need to gain weight or otherwise they're not thriving. Okay. Um, she's got plenty of milk. Um, make sure just that she can have her food in about four hours. She can have water when she gets home. Just make sure she doesn't face plant into it. Okay. Um, and then as 
far as the pup pups um, just make sure they are clean and if she's not cleaning them you'll have to wipe them you can mm -hmm. do it with like non scented baby wipes or just a damp rag because mm -hmm. um, dirty puppies do get sick mm -hmm. um, if anybody is not thriving you got about 24 hours to get them to a veterinarian otherwise um, you probably will lose them they don't when they're this young they don't have a lot of wiggle room for being sick and being seen yeah um, let's see they're all very plump, healthy puppies, so I'm hoping you're not going to have any issues, especially since she'll probably be a good mom given her personality. And then she can have pain meds mm -hmm. tomorrow afternoon. Mm -hmm. um, on your discharge instructions, which I'll hand you, it'll say how much to give. And it's literally just a 20-pound dose. You drop to the 20 mark and squirt it right in her mouth. And I think that's, for the most part, it. You've had a letter before? No. No. Okay. What? Uh, yeah, we're gonna help her. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna help her. Yeah. You're good. Another main thing is make sure that um, them and Mama aren't left alone unattended for at least three to four days. You want to make sure they're well bonded because I don't okay. want her to accidentally attack one thinking it's a squeaky toy. Okay. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So she's high on drugs right now. She won't know any better. Exactly. Yeah. Um, but after the drugs, we're off in about 24, 48 hours. Oh my goodness. Here she is. Hi, Hi. cutie pie. Hi. She did great. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. I'm getting this. I'm getting this. I'm getting this. I'm getting this. So you like take your fingers and pinch that open. And then oh, put it right yeah. there. It's a baby. Oh, it's a baby. and there we're going. We're off. Oh, you got it. You were doing good. Go back in. Smacked his lips. <laughs> gonna put this under and maybe give him a little bit of support that's old blood from the thing we fixed there you go okay that is how good to try and take a breath and it kind of uses some abdominal effort he also has a slightly inverted pectus already he may continue to cave in no matter what you do okay you'll just have to see how he develops he's nice and pink which is good which means he's getting plenty of oxygen um it'll just be we'll have to watch this one closely on his breathing okay nugget did he aspirate no he didn't aspirate yeah. see when he breathes you can see it cave in just a little bit here oh yeah right there yeah mm -hmm. Oh yeah. So he, his That's chest may, okay. his chest may or may not develop normal. It may okay. start to roll in on itself. Okay, and then what would be an identifier for something that we need? You said there's nothing we can really do about that, though. Not correct? for an inverted pectus. So sometimes it main thing for him is you don't want him to get fat because I want him to be as mobile as possible. Gotcha. Because you basically being overweight as a Frenchie can cause the pectus to invert. He's already kind of got one. So him, you really just want to keep an eye on it. If you start to feel a really significant divot and he's having trouble breathing, it might be more he made to euthanize. We'll just have to see gotcha. how his chest develops. Gotcha. And that's something to definitely pay attention over the next like well, couple weeks for sure? Yeah, about two weeks. Normally if it's going to become a problem by about two to three weeks, they'll start having a really hard time breathing. You'll just, they won't be able to nurse because they can't get enough oxygen, that kind of stuff. Gotcha. So hopefully that won't happen to him. I just yeah. don't like how much effort he's given. Okay. I think um, you're done. We're pumped too. They're so tiny. I don't want to overfill them. So, go nugget. They can all nurse good though. That's good. The white one just got a little tired of doing it. And you can also kind of tell he's the only one that's not up on his chest trying to move around. Mm. He's just laying there. Okay. Do they need to kind of keep him propped up or? No, I mean because you can't just sit there with him 24/7. Yeah. Gotta yeah. See how he does. Unfortunately, he's much too young to really do anything. If y'all have an oxygen concentrator at home, you can maybe add some supplemental oxygen to their incubator. That's really all you can do at this age. Gotcha. So. 
I know she don't have no incubator, so I know that. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah.